Hi friends today's in the series of fluid therapy i will talk about special fluid especially the sodium bicarbonate the special fluid which i will be discussing are sodium bicarbonate potassium chloride and 25% dextrose in this video i will talk about sodium bicarbonate first is the disclaimer this video is made for educational purpose only there is no endorsement for any brand or a company Dear friends, sodium bicarbonate is an alkaline solution. It is usually available as injection in the ampule form or a vial form, but it is also available as a powder or a tablet form. So, injection sodium bicarbonate is available in two concentration, 7.5% and 8.4 concentration. The 7.5% concentration of sodium bicarbonate in 25 ml of ampule contains each ampule contains 22.5 milli equivalent of sodium and 22.5 milli equivalent of bicarbonate so if we see the 50 ml of vial of sodium bicarbonate with the 7.5 concentration it will contain 44.6 milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate similarly if it is available as a 8.4 concentration then it will have 50 milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate in 50 ml so the iv formulation which are available are 7.5 percent concentration and 8.4 concentration 7.5 concentration will be 44.6 milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate in 50 ml and this concentration supplies 75 milligram per ml of 0.9 milli equivalent per ml each of sodium and bicarbonate so 8.4 concentration will be 50 milli equivalent in 50 ml and this concentration supplies 50 84 milligram per ml of 1 milli equivalent per ml of each sodium and bicarbonate one ampule of 50 ml contains 50 milli equivalent of sodium and 50 milli equivalent of bicarbonate to a total of 100 milli equivalent per ml per 50 ml and this corresponds to 2000 milli osmol per liter this 8.4 concentration is usually hypertonic solution and this can raise the serum sodium concentration by attracting water to extracellular areas from the intracellular space sodium bicarbonate infusions are also available uh, these are 50 milli equivalent 75 milli equivalent 100 milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate dissolved in 1 liter of 0.45% sodium chloride or 0.45% sodium chloride or dex, uh, and DNS or dextrose 5% water. It is also available as 50 milli equivalent, 75 milli equivalent, 100 milli equivalent or 150 milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate in 1 liter D5 water or sterile water. These are basically the IV formulations which are available but we usually use 7.5% concentration that is 25 ml ampule or it can be used as a 8.4 percent concentration of the sodium bicarbonate the mechanism of action of sodium bicarbonate it has a crucial role in maintaining the acid base homeostasis so it helps in protecting the kidney from damage it regulates the urinary ph since bicarbonate present in sodium bicarbonate they alkalizes the urine so counteracting the changes in the serum ph and preventing the acidic condition that can cause tubular damage it also prevents the precipitation of uric acid and calcium oxalate stones by buffering the compounds that would normally precipitate in acidic condition bicarbonate they reduces the risk of nephrolithiasis that is stone formation in the kidneys it also enhances the renal acid excretion because bicarbonate they facil facilitate the efficient removal of excess hydrogen ion from the body without disturbing the electrochemical gradient in the nephron so they protect the renal function by mitigating the fluctuation in serum acid base status bicarbonate they help maintain the optimal glomerular filtration rate and thus prevents the damage to the renal tubules sodium bicarbonate after administration by either root iv or orally it breaks down into sodium and bicarbonate and the bicarbonate ions they neutralizes the excess hydrogen ion and hence converting to converting it to carbonic acid and then water and carbon dioxide which is exhaled 
थेरापेटिक इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट और दे इंक्रीज द प्लाज्मा बाइकार्बोनेट लेवल एंड बफरिंग द एक्सेस हाइड्रोजन आइन एंड रेजिंग द सीरम पी एच टू कम्पेयर द एसिडोसिस इट इज़ कम्प्लीटली बायो इट 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 हैज़ ए कम्प्लीट बायो अवेलेबिलिटी विद आई वी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इट इज़ वाइडली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर फ्यूड हाफ लाइफ इज नॉट नोन एंड इट इज़ चीफली एक्सक्रीटेड एक्सक्रीटेड इन द यूरिन and reabsorbed by the kidneys and exhaled as a carbon dioxide sodium bicarbonate is given as a oral formulation in the form of tablet and powder it is also given as a iv injections or iv infusions oral tablets of 325 mg powder or 650 mg tablets are available iv injection or iv preparation which i have uh, i have already discussed here they are available as 7.5% concentration and 8.4 percent concentration and iv infusion are also available like 50 to 150 milliequivalent in 1 liter solution of various strengths uh, whenever we are giving sodium bicarbonate uh, this sodium bicarbonate can be given with sterile water 0.9% sodium chloride half normal saline dextrose 5% or ringer lactate but we should never mix the uh, sodium bicarbonate with calcium containing solution like calcium gluconate or magnesium containing solutions and we should also avoid it when with any fluid which has a ph less than 7 the fda approved indications for the use of sodium bicarbonate are acute or chronic metabolic acidosis which may be because of any reason like severe renal disease uncontrolled diabetes severe primary lactic acidosis circulatory insufficiency due to shock severe dehydration extracorporeal circulation of blood it is also used in treatment of hyperkalemia cardiac arrest cardiopulmonary resuscitation and shock and drugs toxicity especially with barbiturates toxic alcohol salicylates severe diarrhea with bicarbonate when there is bicarbonate loss is there it also useful in urinary alkalinization in dyspepsia also in dyspepsia we use oral sodium bicarbonate to relieve the heartburns acid indigestion and whenever there is stomach uh, upset is there it is available over the counter as baking soda or effervescent granules non ft approved indications or we can say off label uses are seen with nebulized sodium bicarbonate uh it is an excellent option for treating chemical injuries from the chlorine gas especially within the pul pulmonary mucosa it is believed that the inhaled gas neutralizes when it reacts with the water and bicarbonate within the respiratory sy symptoms it is also given in tricyclic antidepressant overdose which result in qrs prolongation and also useful in cardiac conduction delays whenever we have to use sodium bicarbonate uh we uh, in condition of metabolic acidosis uh, usually mild to moderate metabolic acidosis they can be treated with rl or isolate e in addition to the treatment of the underlying disorder but in severe metabolic acidosis or in critically severe patient the conversion of acetate or lactate to bicarbonate may be impaired so effective way is to treat with the sodium bicarbonate the sodium bicarbonate will be used only in the severe cases of metabolic acidosis and why should we treat the metabolic acidosis because metabolic acidosis suppresses the cardiac contract contractility so it is if it is severe and not treated it can lead to hypotension persistent metabolic acidosis will consume bone buffer and will cause osteoporosis and rickets and release of the bone calcium will lead to hypercalciuria and the, that 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 will lead to nephrocalcinosis and nephrolithiasis this is for long term use acidosis induced reduction in urinary citrate concentration which is inhibitor of the stone formation also aggravates the stone formation and how do we calculate the uh, dose of sodium bicarbonate it depends upon the severity of the acidosis so the amount of sodium bicarbonate is calculated as amount required in milliequivalent per liter is equal to 0.5 into weight of the patient in kg multiplied by desired bicarbonate minus actual bicarbonate of the patient 
वी शुड नॉट करेक्ट द मेटाबॉलिक एसिडोड्स इज रेपिडली और कम्प्लीटली डिजायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ बाई कार्बोनेट इज यूजली टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिली इक्वलेंट एंड इट इज नॉट नॉर्मल वैल्यू ऑफ द सोडियम बाइक्रोन सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर मिली इक्वलेंट पर लीटर सो वी हैव टू कीप द डिजायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ बाई कार्बोनेट एट एज टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिली इक्वलेंट पर लीटर एंड हाउ वी यूज इट एज अ इन्फ्यूजन इन द एबसेंस ऑफ कंट्रा इंडिकेशन विच आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग लेटर इन द फ्यू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड्स अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द कैलकुलेटेड डेफिसिट इज करेक्टेड इन फोर आवर्स एंड रेस्ट इज गिवन ग्रेजुअली ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स टू अवॉइड द इरीटेशन ऑफ द वेन एंड सडम सोडियम लोडिंग द सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट इज एडेड टू डेक्सट्रोज फाइव परसेंट एंड इन्फ्यूज एट अ डिजायर्ड रेट फॉर करेक्शन द वेरियस अडल्ट यूज गाइडलाइंस आर acute in acute metabolic acidosis we have to give 2 to 5 mg equivalent per kg per dose iv for a single dose repeat based on patient's response and acid base status in chronic metabolic acidosis or renal failure for example renal failure we can give uh, 1625 to 2925 mg per day orally in divided doses every 4 to 6 hours in patients of distal renal tubular acidosis we can give it as a 48 to 168 mg per kg per day orally divided every 4 to 6 hour proximal renal tubular acidosis dose is 420 to 820 mg per kg per day orally divided every 4 to 6 hour in other condition like lactic acidosis use is usually controversial but can be considered if the ph is less than 7% 7 In patients of diabetic ketoacidosis, use is controversial, but can be considered if the pH is less than seven after one hour of fluid administration. In patients with aspirin or salicylate overdose, the required dose of uh, sodium bicarbonate is one to two milli equivalent per kg per dose IV for a single dose. Patients with hyperkalemia with ECG changes, the dose is one fifty milli equivalent in one liter of five percent dextrose. over 4 hour or 50 mg equivalent iv over 5 minutes for uh, alkalizing the urine we have to give 975 to 1950 mg orally every 4 hours in patients of cardiac arrest only for hyperkalemia tricyclic antidepressant overdose or metabolic acidosis we can give 1 mg equivalent per kg per dose uh, patients with dyspepsia dosage is by age less than 60 years we have to give the do in a dose of 650 to 2600 mg orally every 4 hourly a maximum is 15.6 g per day and in patients who are aged uh, 60 or more than 60 the dose is 650 to 1300 mg orally every 4 hour and maximum dosage is 7.8 g per day uh, in patients with hepatic renal uh, impairment there are no clear cut guidelines and we have to use it very cautiously similar is the case with renal impairment we should avoid it uh, because it will lead to sodium retention also in cases of pregnancy we have to outweigh the risk and benefit there is a potential fluid retention risk is there similarly in breastfeeding no data is available we have to use it with caution in pediatric patient who are less than 2 years of age we should avoid rapid injection that is 10 ml, 10 ml per minute due to risk of hypernatremia we have to limit the administration rate to 8 ml equivalent per kg per day consider 4.2% solution for slow administration the older patient who are more than 65 years of age start start at a lower end of the dosing range and we should exercise the caution due to limited clinical data the adverse effects seen with the sodium bicarbonate are metabolic alkalosis headache muscle pain twitching nausea vomiting slow breathing nervousness restlessness unpleasant taste frequent urination and tissue necrosis is also seen and the serious risk are chemical cellulitis that is due to tissue damage due to sodium bicarbonate basic property because it causes tissue necrosis ischemia and tissue death at at, at the administration site it can lead to increased fluid retention especially in those with renal insufficiency it also it can also worsen the cardiovascular condition such as heart failure so we should avoid giving sodium bicarbonate or the contraindication for use of sodium bicarbonate are metabolic or respiratory alkalosis 
हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी टू सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट पेशेंट्स विद हाइपोकैल्सीमिया एंड पेशेंट विद हाइपर नेट्रीमिया वेन एवर वी आर गिविंग सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट वी शुड ऑलवेज मॉनिटर द सीरम इलेक्ट्राइट्स लाइक सोडियम सॉरी कैल्शियम यूरनरी पी एच एंड ए बी जी सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट इज बेसिकली इनकम्पेटिबल विद नॉर एपिन नॉर एपिनेफरिन एंड डोबिटामिन इट शुड नॉट बी गिवन विद नॉर एपिनेफरिन एंड डोबिटामिन द कैल्शियम कंटेनिंग सोल्यूशन द सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट एंड कैल्शियम एडमिक्सचर मे प्रेसिपिटेट और काज हेजीनेस ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सो वेन एवर वी शुड अवॉइड इट गिविंग विद द कैल्शियम कंटेनिंग सोल्यूशन एंड इफ इफ एट ऑल इट इज बींग गिवन जस्ट इंस्पेक्ट इट बिफोर एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग दैट वेदर इट हैज प्रेसिपिटेशन और नॉट इट शुड बी एडमिनिस्टर ओनली इफ देर देर आर नो प्रेसिपिटेट्स इन द सोल्यूशन पेशेंट्स वी इन पेशेंट्स हु आर ऑन फ्लोरोक्विनोलोन्स लाइक लिवोफ्लॉक्सिन और टेट्रासाइक्लिन लाइक डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन माइनोसाइक्लिन स्पेशली द ओरल प्रेपरेशन हेयर वी शुड अवॉइड गिविंग सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट विद दीज ड्रग्स बिकॉज देर आर चांसेज ऑफ जी आई इरीटेशन एंड द देयर अब्जॉर्बशन मे बी डिक्रीज वेन एवर वी आर गिविंग डेक्सट्रो एम्फेटमीन और मैथ एम्फेटमीन वी शुड ऑलवेज अवॉइड गिविंग इट विद सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट बिकॉज सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट इंक्रीजेज द रिनल ट्यूबुलर पी एच एंड देयर फोर इट इंक्रीजेज द पैसिव ट्यूबुलर री अब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ दीज ड्रग्स so their level will be increased in the blood toxicity risk is there with sodium bicarbonate if we give it sodium bicarbonate rapidly it can precipitate acute pulmonary edema or can cause pulmonary edema it decreases the csf pressure intracranial hemorrhage hemorrhage chances are there especially in pediatric patients who are less than 2 years of age if if it is given as a large bolus it can precipitate acute metabolic alkalosis reduced serum calcium ionized calcium and resulting in tetany so in the cases of uh, toxicity ammonium chloride is given for alkalosis and calcium gluconate is given for hypocalcemia similarly we can give 0.9% sodium chloride and potassium supplementation also so the complications seen with the use of sodium bicarbonate are because of overshoot patient may have post treatment metabolic alkalosis patient can have hypokalemia due to shift of potassium from extracellular fluid to intracellular fluid uh, patient can have volume overload 25 ml of 7.5% sodium bicarbonate it contains 22.5 milliequivalent of sodium and normal sodium requirement is 60 to 100 milliequivalent per day so aggressive treatment with large volume of sodium bicarbonate will lead to sodium overload and if the renal status is normal it will be excreted but if the renal function is poor or patient is of uh, renal failure or have renal derangements if large volume is infused rapidly it will lead to volume overload pulmonary edema and hypernatremia patient can have hypocalcemia or tetany because decrease in ph will lead to decrease ionic calcium in patients with chronic renal failure where there is pre existing hypocalcemia the rapid alkalize, alkalization can lead to tetany so iv calcium gluconate will improve the hypocalcemia induced tetany with additional advantage of counteracting the acidosis induced suppression of the cardiac contractility the contraindications for the use of sodium bicarbonate are respiratory alkalosis metabolic alkalosis this i have already discussed hypokalemia because due to rapid alkalotic effect the sodium bicarbonate is contraindicated in those with sign and symptoms or laboratory findings indicating underlying metabolic or respiratory alkalosis due to the potential exacerbation of the symptoms in patients who have dehydration hypokalemia or hypocalcemia they should be uh, corrected first or along with infusion of sodium bicarbonate we have to use sodium bicarbonate very cautiously in patients with congestive heart failure chronic renal failure or cirrhosis of liver or hypertension because it can aggravate uh, volume overload in congestive heart failure precipitate 
liver failure and also can induce hypertension these are the various references which are from which i have made these slides uh, robert youngson has said the doctor's job is to make the patient feel better not to make the patient feel good with this i conclude my today's topic please keep learning thank you very much